Good morning, neighbors. We're going to sing an old Welsh hymn that has an amazing history. We'll get into that in a minute. Here is love, vast as the ocean, loving kindness as the flood. When the prince of life our ransom shed for us his precious blood, who his love will not remember, who can cease to sing his praise, he can never be forgotten throughout heaven's eternal days on the mount of crucifixion fountains open deep and wide through the flood gates of God's mercy flowed a vast and gracious tide grace and love like mighty rivers poured in sent from above and heaven's peace and perfect justice kissed a guilty world in love in thy truth Thou dost direct me by thy spirit through thy word and thy grace my need is meeting as I trust in thee my Lord of thy fullness thou art pouring thy great love and power on me without measure full and boundless drawing out my heart to thee who his love will not remember who can cease to sing his praise he can never be forgotten throughout heaven's eternal days. Now that song I first heard by a man named Robin Mark. He's a worship leader. But it is called The Love Song of the Welsh Revival. You know, these things, I'm, I'm glad that there's a history. But this man named William Rees, he was a farmer, he was a laborer, but he was also, be, when he was in his late 20s, he became a very anointed minister. And so he was just a simple man. But they said many times it was in the fields where you know, the Lord began to deal with him. And he actually died many years before... The Welsh revival ever took place but it says about this song the love song of the Welsh revival William Rees's text played a po prominent role in the Welsh revival of 1904 and 1905 led by evangelist Evan Roberts as with any great evangelistic movement its success was closely associated with music and musicians one of the most notable revival singers was a young woman Annie Davies of Maestig. According to one account printed in 1907, her voice emerged from a meeting and with it the song by Rees. In the first part of the first day, Evan Roberts was overcome as at his initiation at Blenark. He fell on his face in the pew beneath the pulpit, weeping aloud and in interceding. When he was able to calm himself, he rose and left and did not return till the evening. The service in the meanwhile conduct, conducting itself without a break. It was on Friday evening at the closing service of the mission here that the voice of a young girl of 18, Ms. Annie Davies of Maestag, came into the history of the revival, 
professing Christ from childhood, trained in her home to serve him with her vocal gifts. She sang with tears on her face and victory in her voice, the mighty love song of the revival. This hymn, Here is Love, Vast as the Ocean. The song speaks of the marvel of divine love, flowing as vast oceans of tender mercies and never ebbing flood tide of the very prince of life dying, dying to redeem our forfeit life. And reporters who were there said, when she began to sing, the anointing was so strong, the love of God flows so strong through that place that even people who were strong in the Lord, experienced in the Lord, had felt the anointing of the Lord. They said they simply had to drop their hands in like this other, other world just walk out and um, like they were in a cloud of like the love of God was just so covering them and closing in and abiding with them that they just didn't know what to do with themselves anymore and they said even reporters who were there just to uh, to watch to see what's going on they said they would just drop their notebooks in awe because they said that's what it was uh, like we were just in awe of the love of God. And I pray, Lord, let us experience something like that, to walk in awe of the love of God. In 1 John chapter 4 and verse 7, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love, and this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us, and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Let us never stop being in awe of God's love for mankind. And he, everyone has a chance. And I pray that everyone could experience this, to know what it is to just stand in awe. Have you ever stood in awe of something, whether there's a sunset, sunrise, a mountain, an ocean, what a storm, whatever it may be, and just be in awe? Well, that is just a drop in the bucket compared to what God's love is for you and for all. So God bless you all this day in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.